What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. And what I got for your face balls today is a little bit of a discussion here about uh, some budget knives. I kind of figured since the holidays are coming up and all of us uh, knife nerds like to uh, try to suck other people into our obsessions. Um, you know, I know a lot of people like to give knives as gifts and whatnot, so... <clears throat> I figured I'd show off some good and some not so good uh, budget knives and yeah, talk about them a bit. There's some pretty cool new stuff out there that I just learned about anyway um, that I'll show you and some, some that are not on the screen here. But uh, yeah, let's get into it here. We'll talk about uh, several different makers and different brands and so... What I'm classifying as a budget knife, uh, in my opinion, is basically anything that's under 75 bucks. Uh, you know, there's a lot of knives out there, certainly under the $75 mark, and you can actually find some really, really great stuff out there for, you know, 25 or 30 bucks. Uh, but uh, certainly 75 and lower is uh, you can definitely get your hands on some really, really nice stuff made with good materials. So... We'll start this off with, uh, this happens to be a Tucson knife. This is the Tucson uh, TS-16. Um, this is obviously black and white layered uh, G10. It's kind of hard to tell, uh, but there is quite a bit of texture. This thing's absolutely good to go for wearing gloves. Um, the lock bar on this guy, it's, uh, you can see that you do have some milled areas there for a little lock bar relief. Um, gloves may not be fantastic for releasing the lock bar on this guy, uh, just because it's really, really well polished, almost kind of slick. There's no jimping on the lock bar there on the liner lock. Um, but, uh, but anyway, really great knife, uh, D2 steel, kind of a sheep's footy type of blade. And, you know, it's riding on, <clears throat> riding on ceramic bearings. Uh, like I said, D2, uh, flipper, you know, just a nice knife. Um, it is uh, right side tip up only carry, but you can pick this guy up for, you know, anywhere between, uh, you know, I'm going to say around 30 bucks um, and just a really, really high quality knife for $30. So that's the two, uh, uh, Tucson TS-16. This here, uh, I guess one thing I didn't say, uh, these scales are contoured as well, and I happen to really like G10, so there you go. Um, this here, since we're talking about Tucson, this is another Tucson knife, uh, also contoured scales. This one's just black G10. Uh, very similar uh, blade profile, uh, with the exception, uh, you can see there that the cutting edges on these guys are very, very similar. Similar in size, these are full size knives. Uh, so you're looking about, you know, a little over three and a half inch blade. Uh, but this guy here offers a little bit, a uh, little more contouring in the grip. Uh, you do have jimping up here on this thumb ramp. Again, this one is uh, D2 steel. Yeah, there it is, D2. Um, and this one here is the uh, Tucson uh, TS27. Uh, but again, you can pick this guy up in the $30 price range. Really great knife. Um, personally between the two, I like the 27 better, um, uh, just because of the thumb ramp. It's a little more comfortable in my hands. Um, and I will tell you if, uh, anybody out there buys one of these knives, the pocket clips actually work great. You can see not very deep carry, uh, but they do work well. However, um, on all of the ones that I've had, Tucson puts this pocket clip on several of their budget knives. You can see both are sporting the exact same clip here. Uh, but this little bottom portion uh, generally is sticking up a little more. Uh, and on all the ones that I've had, I bent that down slightly just because it stuck up too much. But that's really my only complaint with these knives is just that pocket clip, but that's really easy to fix. Like I said, you can just bend it down slightly, uh, just right there at the very end. 
but <clears throat> both these knives really great knives for you know like i said you can pick them up for around 30 bucks uh maybe even a little less 25 uh you can get them on ebay you can get them on amazon white mountain knives i don't know what the price is at white mountain knives but certainly on ebay you can pick up either one of these guys for you know like i said 30 dollars, give or take a few bucks since we're talking tucson i also brought out a uh, slip joint so it's got a nice half stop there uh, tucson slip joints are kind of interesting because the tension bar back here has that rounded area that you can see falls into a groove on the tang of the blade right there and yeah so this guy here uh super comfortable in hand really nicely done you do have a little forward choil area although for me it's not very comfortable uh, just because it puts your fingers kind of in a weird location but i think someone with smaller hands would have an easier time with that uh, it is a slip joint with the pocket clip uh, this one is titanium scales and you can see there is some nice kind of fine uh, machining there you got some speed holes uh, and then you've got this uh, kind of contouring to the scales uh, really nicely done uh, this guy here is uh, I think it's tw yeah 12 C 27 uh, oop, bumping my camera here it's a night morning design um, but you know really useful really nice slip joint uh, kind of a cool uh, take on a slip joint I like the you know it's very easy to open uh, yeah just works really well and this here is the uh, Tucson TS 167 uh, so this guy goes for anywhere you know 50 to 60 bucks something like that but you've got you know grade 5 titanium milled pocket clip with the hidden screw for the pocket clip so this thing you know is just a really nice knife somebody wanting a slip joint really well done so ts167 also a cool knife <clears throat> now we'll get into some american manufacturers here um, i think the blurs are actually made overseas uh, but certainly kershaw uh, you know is an american name anyway or i think it's owned by kia which i think is an international company but anyway everyone's familiar with kershaw this is the Kershaw Blur. This is actually um, my wife's knife, and uh, it's a really great knife. I personally am not a huge fan of assisted blades, uh, but this Blur is assisted. Um, <clears throat> but you can see the, the contouring on the thumb studs there. It's really more like a thumb pad. Uh, so it takes next to no effort at all to get that to fly out. <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot. Yeah, we had that etched onto the blade uh, just as kind of a joke uh, but anyway uh, this one here is sporting the uh, Tonto blade and this is BDZ1 steel um, of course the blur is a liner lock again full-size knife um, but <clears throat> aluminum handle scales the coloring on the blade or the scales on these guys are really fantastic it comes in a ton of different colors and options variations blade shapes different blade steels and they range anywhere from you know around 50 bucks and they can be more expensive they these uh, blur can go up i think even over a hundred dollars with certain blade steels uh, but you know it's a really great knife if you're looking for an assisted uh, knife the blur is a, a really good one it's a good budget option uh, really comfortable in hand just a yeah just a, a nice knife uh, you do have the choice for tip up or tip down, but only right side carry. Um, so, yeah, again, not a deep carry pocket clip, uh, but a really good budget option. I really like the blur. It's a great knife. Okay, now we'll get into uh, Gerber. Uh, Gerber. I don't even I don't even know what to say exactly about Gerber, other than they are just it's just not good i don't know what else to say um i can't even remember what this model is i guess it does have a deep carry pocket clip which is a positive it is right side tip up only uh, this is an assisted knife you can see the thumb stud deployment there 
Um, this is some type of a plastic over uh, just like stamped out uh, steel liners. And it, like I said, is assisted. And well, there's the model number. I don't remember what this is has for blade steel, but um, it's also a button lock. Uh, so you push the button and then you do also have this lock bar here uh, for safety. Just not a good knife at all. Um, I think these things are like 30 or 35 bucks. Uh, you know, compared to these guys, it's just not even in the same stratosphere. Uh, this Gerber is just sad. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, we've got a couple other Gerbers out here. Uh, this Gerber is the kettlebell. And it really frustrates the hell out of me, uh, this knife, because it's got a hollow grind. Uh, I think it's like 3CR13 or, or I think it's 3CR17 MOV blade steel. Um, but this could have been such a cool knife if they, the design I really enjoy. To me, it's a cooler looking uh, Pilar. Um, I feel like if they would have just built this uh, well and did, you know, nice construction, this thing would have been great. And instead, uh, they use terrible blade steel. <clears throat> the front scale here is aluminum. The back side is stainless steel. It is a frame lock. And this one, I've actually had two of these. And I actually have a video on this knife of just, it's just sad. I just, I don't even know what else to say. But it's a cool design. I really wish that it would have worked out well. It's comfortable in hand. Um, you know, when that choked up. Uh, using the finger choil and the finger choil is very generous um, works well it's super comfortable and I really wish this thing was just built better because if it would have been built better I feel like uh, this would have gained a lot more popularity like the Pilar did um, but instead it's a shitty built knife and so there you go <clears throat> however we're going to open this guy right here. Um, I've had this for, I don't know, a month or two. And I, I don't even know what else to say about it other than, uh, well, let's just get it out. For those that haven't seen this guy, this is the Gerber Highbrow. And I picked this guy up. They're cheap. You know, they're 32 bucks or something like that. Um, but one, they sent me the wrong one. This is not the one that I actually... Uh, chose but this is what they sent me um you can see here you got some texture on the the backspacer uh but again just i mean you can just see nothing's finished well at all it's really just not good it's uh feels like aluminum scales i'm not even 100 percent sure what it is but you can see here they they changed the finish on the scale to give it a fake bolster look and then you've got this stupid little locking i don't even know i mean it doesn't even work half the time you're supposed to like pull it back to fire the knife as you can see i'm struggling there it goes so there that's in the fire position so you've got this flipper tab and then you have what essentially is an access lock it's assisted but look at this turd come on i mean this thing is just screams pos again it's like 32 33 bucks and i wish i really wish that gerber i could say something great about gerber i really do i i'm not a fan of doing reviews just destroying people that's not what i'm here to do uh, i have never even shown this knife before because i'm it's just it's just sad um uh, you know it, everything about it just the feel of it it just feels cheap and chintzy and um yeah you got this stupid little lock thing which i it's just ridiculous it hardly ever works and um when it's in the forward position it's supposed to you know it keeps you from flipping the blade out but again it's assisted um yeah it's just gerber 
I, I really wish they would get their shit together because there's three examples here and these are all newer knives. Um, and all three of them, the, out of the three, the kettlebell is certainly my favorite, but all three of them are just, just so poorly built. It's just terrible. Um, another great budget. This will go back into some good stuff here. Uh, the manly peak. Uh, this is a knife that I absolutely love. Fantastic knife. Just a great user. Good worker. Um, this one here is in, uh, 12 C 27 blade steel, super thin behind the edge. It's around 10 thousands or 10 or 12. I can't remember, but really thin behind the edge. Um, uh, it's a back lock, mid back lock. So really great to use. Um, you do have the old manly hole there for opening, which is great. Um, and it's kind of funny. The holes actually oval shaped, uh, which is kind of funny to me, but, uh, <clears throat> But anyway, you know, really well done. The tang of the blade is great. When you uh, release the the back lock here, the blade stops right there. Uh, so doesn't close on your fingers, which is fantastic. Um, and that's really, really great. So <clears throat> really great knife, Manly Peak. Comes in a bunch of different blade steels. And I think the cheapest one you can get is D2 blade steel. And I think they're right around $50, $52, something like that. And you can get this exact same knife with S90V. And I think that goes up to around 100 But they do have multiple blade options. Um, and you can there's several different options uh, that are under the $75 mark. Uh, you can see full deep carry pocket clip. It is reversible. Right or left tip up carry. Uh, super thin and you've got g10 here comes in a bunch of different colors just a really great knife so manly peak highly recommend that one uh, another knife that i recommend uh, is the best tech pebble uh, this is kind of an interesting knife you got uh, uh, g10 here uh, with a deep carry pocket clip um, it is right side tip up only uh, but it's, uh, you know, maybe more of a kind of like a gentleman's knife. It's very thin, very slender, uh, and it is a liner lock. Um, but you've got <clears throat> really nice access to the lock bar, which is great. And nice little flipper. Uh, this guy is sporting VG10. Um, and yeah, the Best Tech Pebble. It's a nice little knife. Flipper tab, super comfortable. Thing rockets right out. Um, well made, just a nice little knife. And I think these, these go right around 60 bucks, I think something like that. Uh, so just kind of a nice little classy, uh, full flat ground blade, fairly thin behind the edge. You got a nice stone wash on the blade. So yeah, just kind of a little classy gentleman's carry. All right. <clears throat> now, one of the other knives that I brought out for this budget deal is uh, the Real Steel Griffin. This is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, this thing is riding on needle bearings, uh, makes it incredibly smooth. It's a button lock. Uh, you've got that opening hole there. Of course, you can do the things, you know, like this, um, but it is a manual uh, button lock. And it does have a lock back here. You can lock it when it's open, uh, so the knife won't close on you. Um, I personally don't ever use that, but uh, either way, real steel griffin, great knife, aluminum scales, uh, 14C28N blade steel, and just a really, really great knife. And these go around 50, 55 bucks, something like that. Really great knife. <clears throat> that brings us to this knife. This is a knife that I just learned about, um, and I just received it. And this is from Harns. It's called the Assassin. And it is the updated Assassin with a pocket clip. And there's some info on it right there. So you can see we're 14C28N, G10. And then they've got a blade coating on there. So you can see here blade length is 3.78 inches. Overall, just under 9 inches. And they say it's a ceramic ball bearing flipper. So let's check it out. 
So what you get in the box here, you get this little box here from Harns, uh, cards and shit. Uh, if you're caught with a problem, contact. And then, yeah, some standard paperwork. Anyway, Harns is not a company that I was familiar with. Um, but check this guy. Check out this guy here. Uh, really sweet knife. Uh, flipper. I really like a lot of the details on this guy. You can see the uh, proprietary uh, pivot. Hopefully, that is a captured pivot. Uh, it is tooled on this side. And then you've got a deep carry pocket clip with one screw. So just simple two screw construction. You've got this beautiful gray G10 and it is a liner lock. It's perfectly centered. Flipping action is fantastic. And you can see here, it does have some coating on the blade, uh, 14C28N. And this guy, the action on it is phenomenal. I'm, you know, it does have the, the uh, added benefit of having a really long blade, which helps uh, swing it around there. But the flipping action on this guy is fantastic. Uh, just really quick, we're going to pop this guy open. Yes, it is a captured pivot. So that's great. I just want to see what this guy is sporting here. I know this video is already too long, but we'll see. This shouldn't take but a few seconds here. All right, so there's the G10. Mm. There's a bunch of bunch of Loctite and shit in there. Oh, we have some some uh, weight relieved liners here. Let's see if I can get that guy off of there. Wow. Hmm. Oh, that's why I couldn't get that guy off there. It's got another screw in it back here. So it's not just a two screw construction. It's three. Hopefully that's not. Okay. Beautiful. Learn something new every day. I wouldn't pay any attention to that. All right. So now this thing should come off of here. Oop. <clears throat> there we go. Good Lord. All right. So here we've got the liner. The liner is coated just like the blade, as you can see, which is really nicely done. We've got... Uh, the detent ball, we've got a milled pocket where the bearings ride. You've got nylon captured uh, ceramic bearings. Here's the other side. So, yeah, really nicely done. So, guys, this knife here, you can pick this knife up for standard price on this guy. You can buy it on Amazon. And the standard price on this guy is $37.89. However, um, I do happen to have a discount code that takes 30% off. So if anyone's interested, uh, you can pick this guy up and you can buy this knife for uh, $26.75. So let me... Uh, Get this back together here real quick the one thing that i did not do so you know we're looking at almost a four inch blade here uh, almost nine inches overall in length um, but one thing i did not do is weigh this guy so i want to do that real quick here just to show you what we're dealing with um, but really really nice knife like the little details you've got this little v cut out in the pocket clip and then the corresponding v right there so that's really nice it sits down in that pocket and just adds some lateral stability there 
uh, when you're dealing with a single screw pocket clip that's always really nice of course All right, <clears throat> so we're centered, action's great, no blade play. All right, let's get a weight on this guy real quick. So, you know, we're talking almost a nine inch knife, 3.97 ounces, so just under four ounces. Guys, for 25 or 26 bucks, 27 bucks on Amazon, this thing is a beauty. Um, pretty thin behind the edge. Um, I haven't measured it yet, but it's it's pretty thin behind the edge. You know, certainly it's going to be under 25 thousandths. I'm going to guess it's probably somewhere around 20 thousandths. Um, but uh, you got a saber flat ground blade. Like I said, 14C28N. Really nicely done. A uh, little bit of contouring on the G10. The liners look really nice. Just a super classy carry. The carry profile is very, very slim. Um, the uh, proprietary pivot there is pretty cool. Um, it looks good. I'm going to straighten it out. It is captured, but it does twist a little bit. But, you know, it's got their logo on the pivot. Non-tooled on this side here. So... Yeah, Harns, Assassin. Um, really about the only flaw that I found with this guy is, is that with this sharpening choil area back here, they missed the, the plunge grind there by just a tiny bit. So you do have just the smallest bit of smile there at the end. But, you know, I mean, those are mistakes that you see on four, five, six hundred dollar knives. Uh, this guy is, uh, you know, you can get it for 27 bucks. So really nice knife pocket clip works extremely well. It's just a fold over, uh, steel, really good retention in and out of the pockets. Great. Um, uh, nice little backspacer. Yeah. For that kind of money, you can't beat it. Anyway, guys, this video has gone on way too long. So <clears throat> if you're looking for some gifts to give this year for Christmas, Here's some pretty stellar budget knives. All the good ones anyway. There's a few uh, shitty ones that I showed you I would stay away from. But these right here, guys, definitely giving them the, uh, oh, and the blur. So watch yourself. Don't buy any shit this year for Christmas. Stay away from the shitty ones. And guys, have a good one. We will see you next time.